Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All of the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on string literals. I'm going to go ahead and open up my website here, javacjava.com. Go ahead and hit begin. We'll scroll down here to the string literals tutorial. A string literal is a sequence of Unicode characters inside a pair of double quotes. The Java C compiler translates all characters in a string literal into Unicode characters as the byte, file, byte code file, as a dot class file, is created. String literals can contain escape sequences for special characters. Now, if what I just said sounds like a bunch of techno babble, please review my tutorials on char data type, hexadecimal literals, and escape sequences. Okay? So here we have a very, very simple string literal, dogs and cats, right? Up here we have a string literal with a couple of escape sequences in it, the double quotes here represented by the backslash and a double quote. And then here we have a string literal that's all in Unicode, all in Unicode escape sequences there. And this is essentially what um, the compiler would translate dogs and cats into, into the actual bytecode file there. So, and that's the Unicode representation for dogs and cats. So, I'm going to take a minute to talk about code pages and how they relate to Unicode characters. What is a code page? A code page is a table of values that describes the character set used for human readable font characters and glyphs. Letters or symbols such as the euro currency character, right, this guy right here, were not around, were not part of the original character set for personal computers way back in the early days. There are many different types of code pages. You can wiki code page for a more detailed explanation of how they work. For this tutorial, we need to let the command window know that we would like to use a code page that will display the Euro character properly. We will do this by using the chcp command. The chc com chcp command is short for change code page. We will be changing the code page to table 1250. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here. Uh, highlight that, hit control C or right click and select copy. Um, let's go ahead and get this off of the screen here. Let's go to start. Search, type in CMD to open up the command prompt. Uh, type in Java C. And if you don't see all this stuff scroll by, then basically what you've got is you don't have the Java development kit installed properly. Uh, please go review my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. And then when you've got that ready, ready and good to go, go ahead and come back to this tutorial there. We'll go ahead and type in CLS to clear the screen cd space backslash cd is short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root we'll type in md java md is short for make directory java i already have it but if you didn't it would go ahead and create it for you um, we'll go ahead and change directory to the java folder and we're gonna make a directory called uh, string literals okay go and change to the string literals folder and type in notepad string literals.java. String literals.java is going to be our Java source code file, also known as a compilation unit. Okay, let's go and hit Control V to paste in our stuff there. And let's save this. So, same thing as what we had talked about earlier there in the tutorial. I basically have the same three string literals declared. And I have another string literal declared down here with the Euro character. And then the escape sequence for Unicode. And then the hexadecimal value that represents the Euro symbol there. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. What we're going to do is come down here and we'll clear the screen. We'll type in Java, Java C, string literals.java to compile it. And now we're going to type in chcp, change code page is what that's short for, 1250. Okay, and then press enter, and it'll say active code page 1250. Now we can go ahead and type in Java, uh, st, I'll just type in Java S and hit tab, right? Um, actually, what I'm doing is type in directory, right? So there is the string literals class file, right? A string literals class file 
is basically the Java bytecode file, and that will contain um, those Unicode characters there, basically. We could decompile it. Um, you know, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I wasn't gonna do this, so I wasn't even planning on doing it, but let's go ahead and type in Java P. Java P is another um, Java command line tool. Minus C, it'll decompile this class file. So if we pass it Java P, as in Paul, not Java C, which is a Java compiler, minus C, it's basically a, um, a flag for, for telling it we wanna decompile this class here, right? We'll come up with some interesting stuff here. I'm not going to go over too much of it, but you can see there's some strings in here, right? Um, it's now made, put them back into there and everything like that. There's all kinds of, of fun stuff in here. But that decompiles this compiled string literals class and shows you some, some other interesting stuff there. I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen on that. I don't know why I went off on that tangent, but let's go ahead and just go ahead and run and, or invoke the string literals class. Okay. And this is how you surround a letter, word, or phrase with double quotes in a string literal. That wrapped around onto the next line. Uh, dogs and cats, dogs and cats, and the euro character. All right, so we got pretty much, oop, let's go back this. Yeah, we got exactly what we were looking for there. So let's go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. And I just want to leave you with some final thoughts. You will use string literals in almost every project that you create. But having an in-depth understanding of how string literals will make your life so much easier in the future. Just trust me on that. Uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.